Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how the original voucher numbers are retained despite insertion or deletion of vouchers in Tally Prime release 3.0 onwards. Moreover, you will learn how to use the unused voucher numbers while creating vouchers. When you select automatic or multi-user auto method of voucher numbering in a company created or migrated to Tally Prime release 3.0, you do not have to worry about retaining the original voucher numbers on insertion or deletion of vouchers. By default, Tally Prime release 3.0 ensures that the voucher numbers are not changed on insertion or deletion of vouchers. It also ensures that the voucher numbers of the transactions uploaded on GST returns while filing returns remain unaffected in Tally Prime. Let's see how voucher number retention works. Go to a voucher type. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Voucher Types. Sales. And press Enter. By default, numbering behavior on insertion or deletion is set as Retain Original Voucher Number. This option appears only when the method of voucher numbering is automatic or multi-user auto. If you do not want to retain original voucher numbers for certain voucher types such as journal and purchase voucher types, then set numbering behavior on insertion or deletion as Renumber Vouchers. This option will renumber vouchers on insertion or deletion of vouchers. For this instance, let's select Retain Original Voucher Number. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher type. Let's see the impact by deleting a voucher. Press Alt plus G. Type or select a book and press Enter. The vouchers are numbered 1 to 7. Select voucher number 5 and press Alt plus D. As you can see, the voucher number of other vouchers remain unaffected. Similarly, when you insert a voucher, the voucher numbers will not get affected. Select a voucher and press Alt plus I. Select the party account, sales ledger, stock items, and other necessary details, and press Ctrl plus E to save the voucher. As you can see, the voucher number of other vouchers remain unaffected. However, some voucher numbers remain unused. Now, let's see how to use unused voucher numbers. When you choose to retain original voucher numbers for a voucher type, Tally Prime does not readjust the voucher numbers on insertion or deletion. So, there can be some voucher numbers that remain unused and you will want to use those in transactions. Press Alt plus G. Type or select voucher types, sales, and press Enter. You can see that by default, the option Show Unused Voucher Numbers in Transactions for Retain Original Voucher Number Behavior is set as Yes. If you do not want to use unused voucher numbers in transactions, then set it as No. Now, create a voucher. Press Alt plus G. Create Voucher. Press Ctrl plus I. Select Voucher Number Details and press Enter. Select Unused Voucher Numbers and press Enter. The list of unused voucher numbers appears. Select the unused voucher number number that you want to use for the transaction and press Enter. Press Escape. Select the Party Account, Sales Ledger, Stock Items, and other necessary details and press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Open Day Book. Press Alt plus G. Type or select Day Book and press Enter. The transaction with the voucher number is here.
as you saw, Tally Prime released 3.0 makes retaining voucher numbers on insertion or deletion of vouchers very simple. Moreover, you can use the unused voucher number in the future transactions as needed. And you can ensure original voucher number retention or voucher renumbering for any voucher type as per your business requirement. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.